what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel today we're going to go over how you can make stubs the easiest way possible in mlb the show 24 if you're new to the channel drop a thumbs up on the video hit that red subscribe button comment down below so you can increase your diamond pool rate so we're going to go over the marketplace and what you should be doing all you need is about eight thousand stubs to start the more stubs the more profit okay now you're going to be playing the game on a regular basis new team affinity ranked seasons new mini seasons you're going to be playing the game in between time you're going to be using the same exact method that i am about to go over so did you drop a like on the video okay let's get into it so you can see team affinity we're going to go to marketplace and we're going to start off with the filters we're going to go to 79 or 78 overalls depending on what you want to flip you want to look for something with about 140 stub gap okay the lower price cards mean less text the higher price cards is more text so if you are up in the 10 12 000 card range you're going to be losing 1200 or a thousand stubs after tax okay so remember that so 240 stubs to 371 is 130 stub difference so on this one you're going to be making about a hundred stub profit every single time what makes it super super good is you can go in put in as many orders as you want i would do about 20 orders between four different cards jump into mini seasons conquest anything that you are doing put them up for sale you're going to play a 12 to 15 minute game and then when you come back you should have accumulated that 7 to 15 thousand stubs okay so every single hour you should be making 15 30 45 60 thousand stubs on the high end every single hour you should be making about 25 to 30 thousand stubs or if you are in the higher bracket getting the 10 thousand 12 thousand 15 thousand stub flips is going to be even higher but this is the safest method so you can see right now I am buying up the Jose Leclerc's, the Justin Steele's, and then one key thing to remember, 438 is on the left hand side. It's going to be people on the market when they see certain cards are moving that's going to undercut you. So you're not always going to only get 100 stubs, sometimes 160, 170 stub profit. And when I'm in a situation like that, I'm willing to walk away with about 125 to 130 stubs. So I will put it up for sale after the game. If it does not sell, I don't mind taking it off the market and reposting it for lower because a profit is a profit. You don't want to take eight stubs, nine stubs, but that's still a profit. But you want to look at 100 stubs minimum between 50 cards because that's going to add up. Okay. Now. If you do this every single day, when you get on, play your ranked, play your battle royal, play your team affinity versus the CPU. Every time that you start the day, at the end of the day, you're going to have more stubs than you started with. This is something I have been doing since I had about 15,000 stubs. Then I had 30,000 stubs. I got my investments in to bring in another 250,000 stubs at the roster update. And I should be sitting at around a half a million stubs. Now, you can become a member on the channel and get all the cards that move the fastest on the market. Because every morning, I am going on the market and I'm seeing what cards I can buy, how fast they are coming to me, and then how fast they are selling. If you want the same exact cards that I am doing every single day before videos go live in public, drop a thumbs up, become a member in the link in the description, and stay tuned for the next stub making tip video.